graph the following equation. So we have 6x minus 2y equals negative 6. Well, the thing is, to graph it, we need it in slope-intercept form. Now remember, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So that means we need to solve for y. So the first thing we're going to do is get rid of this 6x. I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides of the equal sign. All right. So we have negative 2y equals negative 6x minus 6. Now I still need to get y by itself. So what I'm going to do is divide by negative 2. So each piece is divided by negative 2. So we end up with y equals negative 6 divided by negative 2 is 3. So we have 3x. And again, negative 6 divided by negative 2 is 3. Now what we want to do is write y equals mx plus b right underneath it. And now we can see that our slope is 3 m equals 3. Now we need rise over run, so we're going to write 3 over 1. And my slope, uh, pardon me, my y-intercept is 3. So let's go over here and we're going to actually graph that. So the first thing that we want to do is we're going to click click to enlarge the graph. Okay, so our y-intercept is 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right here on the line and then I'm going to go to 0, Three. Now here's 2 and here's 3. Now hopefully you can see over here on the right that when I move my cursor it tells me where I'm at. So we're going to put 0, 3. Now my slope is 3 over 1. So I'm going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and over 1, and I'm going to click. And that's it. So we are going to save it and then we're going to check our answer. Yay! Good job! Let's try the next one together. So we have 9x plus 2y equals 18. All right. Well, we want it to look like y equals mx plus b. So just like the last one we did, we want to get the y by itself. So I'm going to subtract 9x from both sides of the equal sign. We end up with 2y equals negative 9x plus 18. Well, we still need to get y by itself, so we're going to divide each piece by 2. So we have y equals, now ne negative 9 over 2 doesn't reduce, so we're going to just leave it as negative 9 over 2, x plus 9. Now I'm going to write y equals mx plus b right underneath it. We can see that my slope is negative 9 over 2, and it's a fraction, so we're going to leave that alone. And my y-intercept is 9. So let's go over here and graph it. I'm going to click click to enlarge my graph. Now my y-intercept is 9. So I'm going to click here to graph my line and I'm going to go up to 0, 9 right there. Okay. My slope is negative 9 over 2. So I have to go down 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and over positive 2. So I'm going to put a dot right here. We could do it again, but we don't need to because remember, we only need two points for a graph. So we're going to save it and we're going to check it. Yay! Good job! Graph the equation by identifying the slope and y-intercept and using their definitions to find two points on the line. Well, don't let this confuse you because basically this is what we've been doing. So let's look at our equation. Our equation is y equals 2x plus 5. Now what's really cool, it's already in slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b. So my slope is m, so I'm going to write m equals, now we need it as a fraction, so we're going to write it as 2 over 1. My y-intercept is 5. So we already found the y-intercept and the slope. So to use the definition, all we're going to do is we're going to go over here, click to enlarge, I'm going to put, oh, first I have to press my line here. Then I'm going to go to 5 on my y-intercept. And my slope is 2 over 1, so it's a positive 2. So I'm going to go up 2, 1, 2, and over 1, and click. Save it, and then check it. Yay! Good job. And that's all there is to that one. Let's look at this one. Match the equation with the graph that you would most closely represent its graph. What's it saying? It's basically saying, which one of these graphs is the correct answer? 
So let's look at our equation. Y equals X plus 2. I'm, it's already in slope intercept form, which is nice. I'm going to write y equals mx plus b right underneath it. So my slope is actually 1, but we're going to write it as a fraction, 1 over 1. And my y-intercept is 2, so I'm going to write b equals 2. Now let's look at some of our stuff here on the right. The first one, it can't be the first one, because our y-intercept is 2. So let's just hop to one that looks like a 2. Well, it could be b. And it could be C. It's either B or C. But now let's look at our slope. We have a positive slope, so that means if we were walking left to right, we would be going up. So which one, B or C, has a positive slope? Well, if you said C, you are correct. So we're going to click that one, and we're going to check our answer. Yay, good job. All right, let's look at one more. Graph the equation by finding the slope and y-intercept. So I'm going to write our equation, negative 8. Now the easiest way to do this is to put it in slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b. So let's do that. I'm going to have to add 8x to both sides. So we end up with y equals 8x plus 7. I'm going to write y equals mx plus b right underneath it. And my slope is 8. I'm just going to write 8 over 1. And my y-intercept is 7. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to start looking at our graphs. So my, my y-intercept is 7. And it looks it can't be C, right? Because when I'm looking at... No, if you can't see it very well, let's just make it a little bigger for us. Do you see that it's going through negative 7? But that's not our y-intercept, is it? Let's look, at the, let's look at D. Once again, it's going, it looks like it's going through negative 7, so it can't be that one. I'm just going to make this one a little bigger so we can see that it's going through positive 7 for this one. And it's going through positive 7 for this one. All right, so now it's either A or B. But what we're going to do next is we're going to look here. My slope is positive. So remember, if we're walking on the line, we're going in a positive direction, it means we're going up. So that one actually has to be A because that is a positive slope. So we're going to click A and we're going to check it. Yay, we're geniuses.